guys welcome back to my channel it is Nico's baby today I decided to do a Q&A because I've been getting so many questions on my Instagram Twitter and on my YouTube comments and it's just really funny to me like the stuff people really want to know about me and I really want you guys to get to know me so I'm excited um yeah so Q&A about Nico's turn up okay so the first question is where am I from? I am from Nigeria. I love Nigeria. Um, I love everything Nigeria. I love the food, love the culture. Um, I lived in Nigeria for about seven, I think eight years before I moved here, before I moved to the States. Um, if you know me, you know I really love Nigeria. Like I'm pro Nigeria. <laughs> like I'm a true Nigerian woman. <laughs> That's how I think. But yeah. Next question, how old am I? I'm 20, I'm 20 years old. Um, my birthday is coming up in a few months. I'm gonna be 21, March 17th, save the date, mark your calendar, it's, it's gonna be epic. But yeah, I'm 21, I love being 20. <laughs> I really wish I could just stay 20 forever, is that weird? I don't know, I just really love this age right now. <laughs> What is my real name and the meaning? My real name is... Boy, how you know Nico's baby wasn't my real name? <laughs> I'm just playing, but no. My real name is Adenike. My name means a crown that shall be pampered. How ironic, right? <laughs> but no, yeah. A crown that shall be pampered. And, I mean, who doesn't want to be pampered? Like, duh. So, yeah kind of live by my name but no um the next question what are my hobbies um my hobbies I have a lot of hobbies I love to do lots of things I like to go to the movies I like swimming I love to dance I love to sing but I don't know how to sing mostly in the shower and in my car with the music bumping um <laughs> I love to do makeup my makeup I love doing my makeup my hair i love styling hair i think i just like to style people like yeah my friends just know me like when they're ready to come out everyone is in my room they're like oh nikki do my eyebrows oh nikki what lipstick style oh fix this shoe oh can you turn this into this and i'm just like you know i'm happy to do it like i just like make making people look good um yeah i used to play soccer i actually i actually really liked it i played for my the university I am now, and I only played for like a year, but then I'm like, ugh, okay. yeah, that's for somebody else. But then it was cool. But um, yeah, I like to go to the gym. I, I, I feel really good when I work out. I sleep better. Um, I love to study. Stay in school, kids. Yeah, I really love to study. <laughs> okay, next question. What made me want to do YouTube? What made me want to become a YouTuber? You YouTuber. <laughs> a YouTuber. Um, what made me want to become a YouTuber? I don't know. I've just always loved to like I just I guess I've just always been pretty self-efficient and I know how to do a lot of things. Like I just love cooking and doing things for myself and doing my own hair and my own makeup and just, you know, everything. So, um, I started off with Instagram and I really was just posting pictures on Instagram and people were like, oh, you um, do good makeup and stuff like that. And I got my makeup done from um, my first makeup artist, JT, Makeup by JT, y'all. Follow her, check her out. She is the bomb. And when I learned what contouring was, I was like, whew. And that was it for me. And I started beating my face. And, you know, when I got Snapchat, I started doing, like, tutorials on Snapchat and stuff. And I got, like, a lot of feedback. And, like, the first time I did my first tutorial, like, 4,000 people watched. And, you know, I started doing different things, you know, inspirational stuff. Just talking about different stuff on my Snapchat. Like, things that people can relate to. And a lot of people were hitting me up like, please get a YouTube, get a YouTube, like, let's see, you know, I guess my life, I don't know, I just guess I wanted people to, you know, get an inside look on my life and YouTube is just really gonna help me be me, I don't know, 
But yeah, I, I'm really enjoying it now. So I'm glad I started it. Shout out to YouTube. Um, next question. Do I have any brothers and sisters? Yes, I have brothers and sisters. I have like, <laughs> well, whew. from my mom, it's four of us. And then my dad, I have four other half brothers and sisters. But yeah, um, I have my oldest brother. His name is Shino. Y'all probably know him, Shino Rambo. And then my next brother is Bio, Be Red. They're into music and I have another sister before me i'm the youngest and i have a sister her name is fola fola's bad follow her on instagram um and yeah i have a, i think i have a pretty good relationship with them i love them they're awesome they swaggy <laughs> um and number one they really support you know everything i've been trying to do and stuff so yeah shout out to y'all for being there for me turn up if i had advice to give anyone what would it be um advice I guess you mean like in life um, it would be to be yourself um, I believe that God made everyone specially and took time on everyone and there's something special about everyone no one else is like you so you just have to use that to your advantage and I think that's how you get through the life in life you just have to be yourself um, no matter what anyone thinks it's always gonna be haters people knocking you trying to knock you but just keep your head up and know no one else is like me. I'm me. So why you hating, boo? Why you hating, boo? Is it really that serious? Just letting you know. Okay, so my next question is, what do I think is the key to a good relationship? Um, I've always, I've been, I mean, everyone, no matter if it's your boyfriend or girlfriend or if it's your mom or your dad, we're all in some type of relationship and I just guess what I've learned from experience is that if you want to keep your relationship and have a good relationship and have it flow well, I just really think it's about being humble. Like, you both have to choose to be humble so it can work. Because you can't just argue with someone and just be like, Ugh, no, just be prideful and just like, oh no, I'm not going to apologize. You have to know how to apologize. You have to know how to fess up. You have to know how to... Um, admit your mistakes and move on because that's the only way it's going to move on if you if that never happens you guys are just going to be holding some type of resentment in your heart so i feel like that is like a big start to having a good relationship because if both of you guys can be humble it's really going to be awesome trust me it's going to be a great relationship in it, with anything with your teacher your boyfriends your girlfriends your moms, your cousins, like I said, your sisters, your brothers. And you're going to feel like sometimes you just want to strangle them. But if you can just like, whew, I just talk to myself like, Nika, what did you do wrong? Go back and apologize. Because usually when you're calm and you apologize to someone, they're not going to snap back at you. They're going to be calm also. So what you dish out, you get back. Feel me? Okay. Do I love, do I travel? Sorry. Um. Yes, I travel. I love to travel. I'm always traveling. Like, if I ever have, like, a break off of school or something like that, I'm always trying to go to Nigeria or Dubai or Bermuda or something, England, somewhere. Um, yeah, and I have friends all over the world. I think, like, Nigerians are just everywhere. So I'm always trying to visit my friends or whatever. We're trying to plan a trip. So, yeah, I love traveling. Love, love, love traveling. Um, next question. What music am I into? I'm really into everything, honestly. I love Nigerian music. I love Afro beat pop or whatever. Um, and my brothers are musicians and my cousins, so it's like, uh, yeah, I have no choice but to love it because I'm their number one fan. Um, what else? Um, yeah, I love country music. I love pop. I, I've been taking a music appreciation class, so it's really making me like appreciate all types of music like classical and everything um yeah and i love trap music let us not forget trap music god bless you know the trap but yeah i love trap music and like what's on i'm obsessed with miliwa i miliwa i love that dance <laughs> yes and i really like Fetty wap now 
Um, yeah, future. Oh, <laughs> whoo, Lord, future. Yes, future is the bomb. Like, I've been obsessed with his songs lately. Like, that's all me and my friends listen to. Just be bumping future. And I just went to his concert, it was awesome. Like, really, really awesome. Okay, next question is What do I study? And now I'm in school, I guess that's kind of backwards, but yeah. Um, yeah, I'm in school, your girl in uni. I'm in my third year. I'm ready to get out <laughs> two more years. I'm a junior, but yeah, and I'm studying business, business management. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really learning a lot. Yeah, I feel good. I think this is where I belong, in the business area. I've always, since I was like 15, I've been trying to have my own business. I've been doing so much stuff. So yeah, yeah. I love it. Okay, next question. Okay, so I have been getting this question so much and I've been getting it for years. I said for years, for years. Do I bleach my skin? No, I do not bleach my skin. Um, I don't know, I guess I was just born a little fair. I don't even think I'm that light to have to, to have bleached, but <laughs> yeah, I think I'm, Pretty, I think I'm light skin, but still like I'm brown. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, no, I don't bleach. I mean, I don't. I'm not knocking anyone who does, but no, I don't bleach, and I don't know anything about the creams or anything like that. Um, next question: Do I wear contacts? I put these questions together because it's kind of like in the same area. But no, I don't wear contacts. These are my natural eye color. I don't know what color my eyes are. I think they change colors depending on light or when I have my hair red or my hair is black, you know, all that good stuff. So, how do I tolerate hate? Um, <laughs> that's funny. Um, I get a lot, of, I actually get hate, but not as much as like the love I get. But there are a few hateful people that feel like they need to comment on my pictures and tell me I'm too fat or too ugly or not cute enough or something like that. And, hmm. I just think it's like, okay, um, well, I guess they have nothing better to do. And the people that hate on me follow me, and they follow me on Snapchat, and they watch my life. So I'm like, no, they don't hate me. They love me. <laughs> they keep me going. Like, it's like, the more hate I get, the more I want to push harder to, like, not like I have to prove myself or something, but just, you know, the hate don't bother me. And plus, like, the people that follow me, always have my back like you'll see comments under my instagram pictures and people are fighting with the people that have anything bad to say about me like leave me close alone she needs to do to you <laughs> stuff like that so yeah that really keeps me going and that like makes me feel really loved uh, um hmm the best thing that has ever happened to me <laughs> um i don't know i guess it would probably be, I've always felt like it was kind of like a good thing, but then a bad thing at the same time. Like it was, at, in the moment I felt like it was a bad thing and I was hurt by it, but now it's like, wow, God really put me through that to make me learn and make the outcome brighter, I guess. So, um, yeah, um, it would be me moving from Nigeria to America. Because I wasn't really too happy about it because my parents were getting a divorce and I was just kind of like, oh my God, like, am I really leaving Nigeria? Like, no. But um, it was just um, adapting really made me, really taught me how, I don't know how to explain it. It just made me the person I am today. Like, I got to see the best of both wor worlds and I also made me very open to traveling but even though like I was already traveling stuff like that it just really made me want to see everything and want to see like everything that God has created because it's just so amazing to me that in every country we all operate differently and we all think differently and everyone has you know what I'm saying so I think that made me not to be ignorant and it just made me you know understand cultures and that's something I'm really happy about <clears throat> that I can be understanding when it comes to different cultures and stuff and it also allows me to have many different friends and be able to want to taste all the different types of foods and you know just educate myself in that aspect of my life. Okay, um, the next question. What do I look for in a man? Um, honestly, 
I don't really know. Well, I know, but it's just kind of like, I just feel, I just have to feel a connection with you. Like, I've dated all types of guys. Short, fat, skinny, tall, light skin, dark skin, medium. I guess they just have to be respectful and we just have to have a connection. And they, I just need to see like you're trying like, okay, you really like me and we, it's like we're both obsessed with each other on the same level. And you know what I'm saying? And of course he has to, you know, know the Lord and he has to have a relationship with God. That is number one. Um, what else? He has to have a sense of fashion. I can't really talk to anyone who like, like, doesn't, like, can't have, don't got a little bit of swag. Come on, you gotta match my fly. And, um, yeah, and obviously, I mean, I've always liked older guys, I think. <laughs> like, I always liked someone older and established that already, like, knew what they wanted to do in life and stuff like that, and that would be ready to get married, like, when I was done with school and my master's and stuff. So yeah, um, next question. What is my passion? What's my passion? Okay, my passion. Um, I think my passion is really the beauty world and the style and everything like that. And like people and getting to know people and just, I think I've talked about this already and I just, this is just what I'm into. Like I've just always been, since I was younger, I've just, and someone asked also another question, like where I got my sense of style from. And it's just been like, since I was younger, I used to just be so interested in like putting outfits together. And I used to just really set my own trends in school, like go to school with like different outfits and just, I mean, I just always remember winning like best dress and stuff like that. People like, oh my God, girl, you really killing it. And I used to always be trying to do my makeup and put my little eyeliner and stuff on. So yeah, I can remember like when so many things were in like and I would wear stuff and people would just be like, oh my god. And I was like, well, I like it. <laughs> so that's what matters. What do I dislike? What do I dislike? I just, I just guess I just dislike a liar. Like to me it's like, okay, what's the point of even lying? Okay, sometimes I'm not perfect. I might slip up and lie, but like I just try to remind myself like when you lie, you have to remember that lie. And most of the time, you're probably not going to remember. You're just going to get, you know what I'm saying, caught up. Because I just feel like I always know when someone is lying. I just be, sometimes I just be quiet. Like, look at them like, why you always lying? Hey, why you always lying? Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Y'all, I'm so silly. Like, I'm really silly. Okay. So, um, um. What's my next question? Okay. How did I get the strength to lose 80 pounds? <sighs> I think I spoke about this in how I lost the 80 pounds. But I really just, I mean, it's just you just get to a point where you have to want it yourself. Because nobody can do it for you. And you just have to really get to a point where you love yourself to... You know, you, you just can't make excuses anymore like, oh, I'm good this way or, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, it all breaks down to you being healthy and loving yourself. So I just literally one day woke up and was like, you know, I'm about to lose this weight. And I stayed motivated. I used to do things like stick pictures. Who who motivated me? I think at that time, Raven Simone had lost a whole bunch of weight and I stuck her picture on my mirror. Every, every morning I would get up, say my prayer, like, let's do this. And I get to it. So, yeah. I just kept motivating, of, of course, my family. They kept me strong because they were really motivating me. And, of course, when you see results, you're like, turn up. I'm about to be cute as hell. So, yeah. Okay. What are my dreams? Um, really, my dreams, I just, it's like I want to do everything. Like, I really just see myself in five years, you know, being done with school. Like probably have been dating the same guy and we're, we're working on getting married and you know I have my few stores I have like you know I want to own a chain of stores and this just does everything like that's kind of like Walmart <laughs> but in I don't know how to explain fashion. it yeah but in fashion and all that good stuff and makeup and a gym in there like I just want something that's just like who I don't know maybe it can be a little I don't know I just 
I just have to be doing everything, honestly. Like, I need to dib and dab and everything, and I feel like that's when I'll be satisfied. And, of course, I see myself married with my kids and just, you know, living a day-to-day -day life and waking up and cooking for everyone and waking them up, you know. That's how I, that's how I see myself. <laughs> so, okay, next question. What do I want to do before I die? Like, I guess they mean, like, my bucket list or whatever. But before I die, I i mean, I kind of already got over my fear of heights because I've started to ride um, roller coasters and stuff like that, and it's kind of fun. But I must jump out of a plane. Like, I'm going to Dubai, and I'm skydiving. I did indoor skydiving already, so I feel like I already took a little bit of the step. So, y'all, hopefully my 21st birthday, I can skydive. Like, I will just, oh, it's scary, but, like, I have to do it. It's like something I just have to do. I don't plan on dying soon, but I just need to do it. Maybe not my 21st, but maybe my 25th or my 30th. But I'm going to get it done by the grace of God. Okay. <laughs> and then, oh yeah, what else? Is, well, that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you learned a little bit more about Nikos. Adenike, Nikos baby, whatever you want to call me. Please remember to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat. And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And like and tell a friend about keeping up with Nikos. Thank you guys.